OK. Rule of third. Entry and exit of stocks for investing, position trading, swing trading, and day trader. That rule of third is a rule of third that was taught to me, guys, when I started in prop firms years ago. I had my Series 55, 7, 63, also worked for a small hedge fund, JP Capital. The reason I'm telling you that is to impress on you a very simple statistic distribution rule within your ranges that will help you tremendously to that day, even though we use our tools, our retail tools, pro tools, one of the rules that I look every day to make sure that the stats are on my favor, that at least I have 66 percent chance of success in my trades is the rule of health. So let's go through the rule of health. By the way, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Yeah, I'm married to an Irish uh, Italian wife, so you better represent, otherwise you get kicked out of the house. So let's go to the screen, everybody. And let's see how we do this here. So let's look at the rule of third as a concept first. Okay, what is the concept of the rule of third to help you, you know, as a beginner here, we're going to put you here for entry and exit, everybody. So, number one, take a strong support, right, zone in the stock that you want. That you want. and a strong resistance zone. Then, rule number two, divide the total range by thirds. One third, one third, one third. So if my range is nine points on Apple, 120, 129, guys, 120 to 123, 123 to 126, 126 to 129, by Third. Now, let's do some math, simple math and distribution of statistics, and you are going to see how powerful this thing has been for me over the years. So here we go. Take lines. We are going to do nine points. Let's take the example I just said. 129 on Apple. 126 on Apple. 123 on Apple. And the 120. So from top to bottom, I'm looking to enter an apple. That's an example, by the way. Not necessarily that I want to enter apple. I want to give you an example. So a good way of entering an exit smart is this. If I enter between 120 and 123, guys, what is my statistics, my probability of success? If I have a very strong support at 120, a very strong resistance at 129, if I enter between 120 and 123, the long, guess what? I have 66% chance of success mathematically. If I enter between 123 and 126 here, guess what? I have only 50% chance of success. I don't have an edge, no edge, right? And if I enter and chase the long between 126 and 129, guess what I have? 33% chance of success. That is a beautiful rule to keep you guys always aligned with statistics. No matter what, no matter what, if you have the day trading zones for pro tour or retail tools, you take the very strong support zones, the very strong resistance zone, you divide them by three, the stats are in your favor. Same, let's take pink. Let's say you want to short this thing. Well, if you short between 129 and 126 here, 66% chance of success. But let's say that you want to short here between 123 and 120 support. Guess what? You have only 33% chance of success. So the rule of third is a fantastic rule, guys, to always keep you in a trade at 66% chance of success. Then watch what I'm doing. Let's take a real example. Any charts, we're going to pull one of the charts on the full pro tool and we'll take, let's say, let's say we take uh, Capital One Financial, uh, something that you want to buy, Palantir, okay? Let's take a Palantir weekly, 
Okay. So Panantil is stuck with a very strong support here on the middle part at about 2022. So let's assume Panantil is 20 on the bottom. I have a minor resistance here at 28, but really it comes here like 30, 35. So let's say the top zone of Panantil is 35, which by the way could be the head and shoulder level of Panantil. Okay, 35. Now, I want to buy Palantir. There's a couple of ways I can do it. 2025 divided by third, I have my range. 20, 25, 25, 30, which by the way is right there, the red dash is DTZ and the second red DTZ, right? Then, look what happened. If you buy below between 20 and 25, now you have 66% chance of success. If you buy Palantir 25, 35 or 25, 30, you had 50%. If you buy 30, 35, you have 33% chance of success. So this is a super powerful way. Now what I'm doing, look, watch, I'm doing even, even more powerful than that. Pull the Palantir, go back to the main screen, pull the Palantir stock, and look what I'm doing. Now I know 20 is a very important support, and I know that between 20 and 25 Palantir is not a bad buy, especially for the next five years. So look what I'm doing. I go in May, just below the day trading zones, and I corner Palantir exactly like I told you. I'm shorting the 17.5 put, which is two and a half point below the day trading zone support, which gives me a, a safety of margin a la Warren Buffett, like Warren Buffett. By the way, guys, don't get distracted by that. It's St. Patrick's Day, guys. Support St. Patrick's Day and the channel will be appreciated, your likes and comments. So, very powerful. 20 support here. Let's redo the graph here. 35 was my resistance. 20 was my support. Get a good look what I'm doing here. I create a margin of safety from the concept of Warren Buffett and uh, Ben Graham, right? The margin of safety of 2.5 points. By doing what? By selling the put in May for a dollar 18, right? And now it's 63 cents. I made 54 bucks on that. Again, I'm getting paid the traffic of income to get the stock that I want at the support zone that I want. And sometimes not only the support zone that I want, plus a safety of margin at 17.5 here, a dollar 18. Guess what? Panantir went to 27 this week. I sold the 35 call for a dollar 72. A dollar 72 plus a dollar 18. It's almost a uh, two and three. I just reduced the cost basis of three bucks. I have some stocks also on Panantir around 23, 24. 23, 24 minus the, the three I'm receiving here. Cost basis is 21. Guys, this is the beautiful way of accumulating assets. You do the rule of third that gives you simple entry and exit for stock beginner, options beginner, you know, long-term investing beginners, uh, anything that you invest, day trade or swing trade. You can use this beautiful, simple rule of third, everybody. It has helped me, everybody, for the uh, past 20 seven years guys it's very simple every day i still look at my day trading zone bottom red dash my top one take the zones take that range divide by four and i make sure that i am on the 66 percent chance of success and sometimes and most of the time i try to especially if i want to accumulate the asset i'm buying i'm selling the puts out of the money below the support zone to create that safety of margin and this is how you accumulate successfully assets in your life, stock assets that after that are going to go up, revenues in the company will go up, earnings will go up, split, you'll have stock split over the years and 100 shares, 200 shares, systematically you do that guys and you will be wealthy within the next 10, 25 years. I cannot promise you anything but logically compounding math of taking small risk, be obsessed of getting assets that pay income or income that pays for assets. Love you all, everybody. I hope that was helpful. The guys on the Power uh, Hour uh, stream, this is 
critical guys this 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 rule helped me for many many years i hope it's helpful to you you'll appreciate being shared tonight guys but this is how you acquire assets guys you take your zones make sure you have 66 percent chance of success and combine selling put deep out of the money and buying small shares and when you get to your area right let it rebound to resistance and sell the cover call at resistance i hope it was helpful your likes your comments your support guys for the feed is super appreciated and hopefully you did appreciate it that i was not taking myself too seriously today as my irish thing and i'll show my wife later on because i woke up this morning with this t-shirt on my bed and the wife said you better put your st patrick's t-shirt by the time i come back love you all everybody we'll see you tomorrow you have a great day take care bye bye